Hello, Sagittarius. It's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of 10:30 through 11/6/2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish, and I close off on my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, and subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you'd like a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on with the uh, Sagittarius? Sagittarius, Sagittarius, love reading. October 30th through November. Eee. November 6th, October 30th through November 6th, 2017. All right, something going on dealing with maybe work situations or friends trying to protect you from something or hold you back, okay? Okay, so it seems like it may be a work situation, but it seems like somebody may be trying to protect you or you could be one of somebody's um, trying to protect somebody from, I think, trying to go talk to somebody who isn't attracted to them. Okay. Okay, so, wow. Okay, so this could be a relationship or it could be a crush kind of thing going on. But it seems like, um, I would do it like I would do a personal reading. I would say that, uh, your friends are trying to, like, protect you. Work friends, sisters, whatever, brothers, whatever, trying to protect you from somebody who doesn't, uh, who isn't attracted to you this could be anybody you know but whatever this is has been going on for a long time so it may be for some of you you decided that you wanted to go um talk to your crush but your friends are telling you like hey they really don't like you like that but they trying to like do it in a nice way not to hurt your feelings or if it's a relationship somebody's trying to tell you that the, your person ain't attracted to you no more you know your partner Cut it out. Sorry. Okay. Sagittarius. What's going on for the Sagittarius? Sagittarius love reading. Alright, yeah. So this is becoming emotionally draining to you. And I feel like it's emotionally draining to you and your partner. You know, you if, if it's a partner, you want to go there. You know, but they don't want to go there. And... Then they like, you know, they feel like they stuck to you or comp, uh, like stuck with you. And I feel like if it's another person other than somebody that you uh, uh, are with, I feel like they just feel um, odd around you because you may be kind of like passing, making passes at them and they don't really feel comfortable. This could be being done to you also. Like some kind of sexual harassment thing. So, um, wow. This is basically saying these people that are trying to protect you, they really are trying to protect you, but they know about what's going on here. And it seems like they may be talking a little bit about you behind your back, but they are trying to protect you from um, the disappointment of this person not wanting you. All right, so it's a bit of manipulation going on here. Yeah, I feel like that's coming from the friends. They trying to, like, keep you from this situation that's going on. And it could be most of what they talking about you behind your back, like scheming of ways to get you not to try to pursue this person or to leave this person alone who don't even want to have sex with you, okay? All right, so it seems like, yeah, this person who don't want to have sex with you, they may be contemplating leaving. You know, or they have tried to leave and it seems like you may have tried to stop them. All right. What's going on with the Sagittarius? I read these straight out the book. Sagittarius love reading. Sagittarius love reading. What's going on with the Sagittarius love reading? October 10th. I mean, October 30th. October 30th through November 6th. October 30th, November 6th. Love reading October 30th through November 6th. Sagittarius. Love reading. What's going on? Mm. 
Okay, so you could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or this just could be um, somebody being uh, nice, um, respectable, caring, you know. Okay, so seems like somebody has been working real hard on the situation. Hmm. Maybe it could be you admire the hard work of this person and that's why you want to uh, be with them, but they're not attracted to you or the other way around. It could go either way. All right, so you saw that one. Really wanted to come out. Oh, we got the chariot here and the sun. Wow. All right, what else we got flipped out over here? Okay, so... This makes me feel like... I'm going to put this back in the deck, but... It makes me, no, i just leave it out. It makes me feel like, I don't know, nothing about this says weight to me. But I'm feeling weight. I'm feeling weight and, oh, Jesus, look at the, the bottom of the deck is the, the death card. So it's making me feel like. That there's going to be some kind of transformations going on, like, life-wise. I'm feeling like this is a, a major event going on. Um, I feel like you are going to get some happiness, but it's saying, saying keep going forward. But I don't feel like your forward is with this crush person or this love person. I feel like that may be coming to an end in whatever this situation is. It's coming to an end, and it seems like there's going to be better for you in the future and everything is just going to start happening fast from here on. All right. All right, so we're going to read the King of Cups. The King of Cups is a person of great education with many interests and abilities. Um, indicates you will receive good advice and generosity from someone soon. So I'm feeling like this person that you're attracted to they are very helpful helpful to you and hardworking, and that's why you are attracted to them. But they don't see you in no other way as a, other than another worker, you know, or just another person. You know, they don't look at you in any type of sexual way at all. Okay? So I got the Eight of Coins. Eight, eight, eight. And it says, you may find yourself learning a new trade in which you will find economic stability. Seek opportunities which specialize in knowledge and learning. So, seek opportunities that specialize in knowledge and learning. I guess maybe you could be a teacher or maybe you should go for a teacher or some, somebody, some kind of instructor. But I feel like this person is just not the one. Okay, so we got the three of coins reversed, and it says, indicate silly workplace rivalry and boredom with your position. So, I don't know. It seems like this may be, uh, I don't know. It could be some kind of sexual harassment going on from you or to them. You know, you help this person out, and then they go overboard with trying to see you passes. And then you being nice or... Or the victim is being nice, so they feel like, um, yeah, but they're being emotionally drained. But the other person, since you're not being direct with them, they feel like, you know, you're playing with them also. So it's just like too much indir indirection. That's manipulation. I don't know. I guess it could be a form of manipulation. But let's read the sun card. Sun. All right, so this says, uh, a time of absolute joy and peace, happiness. Uh, you look at life as great, oh no, as a gift full of future fortune. Uh, so many good things approach. Everything you touch will lead to success and ultimate success. So it's basically like keep going. You, you're getting ready to hit success, you know, even if you're single or not. Like, But I feel like this person that you're trying to deal with, you need to just keep keep it moving. All right, so we got the chariots. 
and it says uh, you will win the war even though you lose the battle your actions are correct avoid revenge for any situation as it will lead it will delay your success decide what you want and do it success is there move forward so it's basically like even if this person comes and try to do you wrong or say something crazy to you like after you tell them like hey it's not like that i'm not i'm not attracted to you just like keep it moving like don't sit there and argue just turn around and walk away like you know i tried to be nice all right so we got the death card and it says a dramatic change the end of some current situation and death life begins again the beginning of a new situation so this means that all this will be over with this little workplace love or and the craziness and it, or the relationship at home where it's just all retarded um and it seemed like you might just be getting a new love coming in you know you're about to get a new love coming in and or a new job whatever you know and it's going to be fulfilling fulfillment is coming but that's all i have for you guys Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me. We can set something up. Other than that, have a wonderful week.